Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Sharisa and today on Sharisa Tries, I will be trying to finish three garments. <laughs> So yeah, today I am going to be working on Simplicity Pattern 8640. And I'm making view A, which is the dress with view C sleeves. And I got everything already cut out. The only extra thing you're going to need is uh, two one-inch buttons. And I chose these um, three styles because I don't know which one I want to choose. And this is an inch and a half while these are an inch. My next one is... McCall's M7563. I will be making view B with view C uh, sleeves and strap. And the only extra thing you're going to need on this one is um, half an inch elastic, but I don't have half an inch, so I'm going with one inch and I just have to make my seam allowance accordingly. And then the next one is a pair of pants by Simplicity. That is 8056. And I'll be making view A. All of them are the same. It's just that view A is the curvy fit. Because they have slim average, slim and average, and curvy. So those are the three fits that you can get. And I'm making the curvy fit. So yeah. And I'm making it out of this fabric here. And this is a stretchy material. So that'll be what I will be trying to do in one day. So let's see if I can get this done. Okay, I'm about to start it. It's now 9 a.m. on Wednesday, September 16th. And I am going to attempt to try to do as many uh, of those garments in one day. So uh, I'll be back to show you the progress. This is the finished dress. It is now 1.47, Wednesday, September 16th. I am starting on the next project, so be right back. All right, so my next project that I'm starting on will be the um, McCall 7563, and I'm doing this one with the C-sleeve. Now, once I finish, if I don't want to do the elastic up on this one, because both of these sleeves are the same, um, I just leave it like this, but we'll see once I finish. But yeah, I'm starting on this one and I'll be back. All right, so I forgot to put this on there. It is now 201, 201, Wednesday, September 16th. And I am now starting on the second garment. All right, so it is now... 328 and I'm about to take a break because I just fucked up. This was supposed to be my sleeve and these were supposed to be the top. The ruffle was supposed to be attached to this. So I basically made the sleeve the body and the top the sleeve. So... I'm going to have to go in and the bad thing about it is, is I've already cleaned up my edges and everything. So I've got a seam rip all of the sides on um, both sides of this. I have to take that off and re-ruffle it to go on to this here. Yeah. I was wondering why my sleeves were so short and why this turn, why the dress body turned out so long. So yeah. That was my mistake, and now I have to go in and correct it. So, yeah. All of this got to come undone. All of that got to come off. <sighs> my life. So, uh, I'm about to go cook something and eat. Take a little break to get out of this headspace that I'm in right now because of this whole fuck up. And I will be back. Okay, so crisis averted. I went ahead and took apart all that needed to be taken apart. And 
uh, so the ruffle at the bottom of the shirt as you can see the shirt part is shorter and then the sleeves are longer so I went ahead and did that and I, I was just checking to make sure that all of my uh, that there's nothing that's been bunched up or anything so I'm gonna go ahead and press this up and clean up the inside so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and surge this here and then I'm moving on to putting the elastic straps and the elastic at the top and the straps and the elastic in the sleeves and I forgot to show the time so the time is now 6.03 p.m. All right, so I finally finished the shirt. I will not be making this thing again. I have enough off-the-shoulder shirt patterns that I can choose from besides this one. And it is now 8.29, still September 16th. I'm going to try to start on the pants. Normally, I'll be getting ready for bed around 9, so I'll be taking a bath and everything and getting ready to go to sleep because I do have to go to work in the morning. Um, but I'll work on the pants as much as I can. If I hadn't had to deal with this shirt as far as taking it apart and messing it up, I should have just left it alone. But if I didn't have to do all of that, then I think I, I know for a fact that I would have finished that um, those pants right around now so i wasted time taking this apart and putting it back together so yeah i'm on to the pants now and i will let you know the progress of that when i get ready to go to bed let you see what time it is so yeah be back okay so i'm coming back to show you my um where i'm at right now my progress and it is now 10.44 p.m. I'm about to go take a bath and get ready for bed because I do have to get up um, for work in the morning. But this is where I'm at so far. I finished the pockets up on both sides. So they're done. Um, I pinned the. I've already sewn on the fly. Tomorrow I'm a understitch, uh, top stitch, understitch this part and uh, put the zipper on, and then start on the back and the waistband. But this is the underside of it. I finished one pocket off. I need to do the other side just this here so I need to finish this part off tomorrow also so yeah that's my progress so far with the pants I was hoping to get everything done tonight but I'm glad that I've gotten this far hi guys welcome back to my channel this is Sharice, and today we're going to be working on simplicity 9 uh, s9116 we're making well i am making view c i'm not sure on how i'm going to do the sleeves yet you'll find out at the end when i find out because i'm gonna try it on with view c and if i see if i like it i'll leave them alone if not i'm gonna go ahead and put the band on it and if i don't like that then I'm probably just going to um, take that off and put elastic in it. So I'm, I'm going to have three different ways that I'm going to do it. I just don't know which way I'm going to do it. So I, the only thing you're going to need up on this pattern is three pieces. You're going to need the sleeve band, which you're going to need to cut two out. You're going to need the front, which you cut on the fold. And you're going to need the back. Um, and you only need one piece of the front and two pieces for the back. I went ahead and made my sleeves longer because I want to see if it's going to reach past my elbow. I want them to go past my elbow but be like a three-quarter inch sleeve. So I'm going to try this out and see if this works. I did add three inches onto here 
and I did the same thing to the front three inches onto here and I made my bottom of my shirt more of a curve instead of going straight and I widen it towards the bottom so it um, flares out more on the bottom part and I did that to both sides of the shirt so it it's more rounded and it flares out so we're gonna see how this turns out because I've already made two different shirts and it will be with this video also I'm gonna try to make it all in one and I didn't really like well one was a shirt one was a dress and I didn't really like it so I, I feel like I kind of wasted fabric <laughs> I hope I don't feel like the same with this one because I really like this fabric so I'm gonna put this together and come back with the finished view at the end okay so I'm here to show you the finished products of the three things plus one that I was working on. Uh, this is the dress. And I am, like I said, 5'3". So I am very short. And if I was to wear this out, I would be pairing them with these shoes here that I got off of Amazon. I think they were like $23 for them. This is how it looks. Um, it is fairly tight because I am bustier so I, it is fairly tight up in this area especially around the back so it's kind of tight it would be better with a more stretchier material so if you do happen to find a cotton that has some stretch to it and you do have a bigger a bigger bust if you don't want to have to do the um, alterations to the pattern to make it a bigger bust uh, pattern then you can just use a stretcher material and you'll be fine there because it's still I'm I can still move in it it is just a little bit more tighter than what I would like it to be and the sleeves are too I would prefer the sleeves to have been a little looser but overall I'm okay with the dress it's not my favorite I thought I was gonna like it so maybe it's just the the material that's throwing me off on it so next time I'm going to try it with the plain material, something that doesn't have a lot of print up on it and something with more color on it besides just black. So, yeah. And probably just a little bit shorter. So just a little bit shorter. Instead of doing the longer version, I do the little shirt version, which is, um, I think, up to the knee area. Or just a little bit past so yeah i'll try that version next time and make the sleeves longer and see if i probably do a more poofier sleeve up on here and have it come down to my wrist instead of a three-quarter inch uh, sleeve so yeah overall i like it don't love it wish it was a little looser in this area but i'm okay with it so yeah so I'm going to put the pants on underneath this because I like how the pants turned out when paired with this. Alright, so these are the pants with the uh, dress on top of it. And I will style this with my flats, with my sandals, because I just like how this look. This gives me more of a summery vibe. If I was wearing this out... Um, during the winter time I'll probably put on my wedges with them but I have to get more shoes because <clears throat> I don't always like wearing heels all the time so but yeah other than that this is how I would regularly probably wear this this uh, dress be with these pants and the uh, sandals and the pants are on the looser side which I kind of knew was going to happen, which I don't mind because I like how it looks with this over with this bigger shirt on, well, with the bigger dress on. So this is how this looks. And I'll come back and 
I will show you the other shirts that I made that was supposed to have went the shirt the one shirt that was supposed to have went with this the off the shoulder shirt but for some reason I just don't like that one so I'll come back with that on and um, I'll probably keep the pants on for the rest of the video so this is the shirt with the pants and like any movement it goes up on the shoulder so I may end up having to take out the elastic out of this and try to find a more softer elastic and make it just a little bit larger than or longer than what they specified to make it because I can't keep doing this I want it to stay on the shoulder like it's supposed to. This is how the sleeves turned out. So I didn't put the elastic in it. I actually like how this looked. And I just didn't want to, truthfully, I just didn't want to waste no more time up on this shirt since the whole debacle of me mixing up the pieces on here. So, and having to re take it apart and put it back together. So I chose just to do as little work as possible on this shirt so yeah but I already have other uh, patterns like I uh, stated in the video that I like that are off the shoulder this one will probably not be my go-to one so yeah okay so this is the third shirt I really like how it turned out I probably didn't need to add so much to it because now it's like more on the oversized size side. So I didn't need to add in more, but it's okay. I like it. I wish I could have made it a little bit longer. I thought I was making it longer and I wish it had a turned out probably this long probably about an inch or two longer so if I make this again I will add on those inches especially to the back I like when my back is longer than my front so I probably do another two inches on the front and maybe three or four inches to the back I don't mind it if it comes down to here so yeah but this is how it looks There is a button closure in the back, which I don't need because the neck hole is fairly on the larger side. So it does fit over my head. I put it on there just in case I did need it because um, the pattern I think was for knit material and not for cotton, if I'm not mistaken. Or it's supposed to have a zipper on the back. I forgot, but it was either or, but I went ahead and put the uh, button on the back and yeah overall i like how this one turned out i'm happy that it didn't come out bad because i would have been real mad if i had messed up this material because i when i saw it i really really loved it and i like the colors up on it so yeah this is all of the pieces i do want to kind of come out with another video of everything i've made this year and then come out with another video of the cosplays that i've made so far because I'm about to start working on probably three more cosplays for next year because I will be going to the cons. I don't care if COVID is around. I don't care if Ebola is out. I will be going to a con, the last three cons that we have of the year next year, which will be AWA, Dragon Con, and Comic Con that we have down here in Atlanta. So, yeah. I'm... I'm doing something outside of work and home because this is tiring this is tedious and that kind of gives you a break away from um just everyday life so and i love to go out and i love to see people um make their how they make their cosplays and how they look i'm i'm a big fanatic so i treat that as my fashion show so yeah Hope you like, comment, subscribe, comment, like, and subscribe. 
Uh, let me know what you think of all of this, what you would have done differently, if you like any certain pieces. And I'll try to come out with some more videos of a couple more dresses that I made and some petty, a petticoat that I made. So yeah, stay tuned for those whenever I decide to edit and upload those. So yeah, hope you like and